I am mom's favorite, so. See, that's why they're kind of quiet a little, because they know it's true. I don't want to embarrass you on TV. <laughs> Their parents immigrated from Michoacan, Mexico, to the south side of Milwaukee. The Cornejo brothers grew up here in this household. And they hung around the neighborhood, specifically places like this one, Casiasco Park. And at some point, all three brothers ended up working here at Milwaukee Police Department's District 2, moving up the ranks in MPD. When I graduated as a police officer, I was assigned the police badge that Julio has currently. When I got promoted to detective, I got another badge, which my brother here now has. That's Miguel, Efrain, and Julio Cornejo. The journey with MPD started in 2001 when the department was looking to hire more Latinos. At the time, MPD had 237 Latino officers in a department of nearly 2,000. I decided to apply and one thing led to another. Initially, I did not know if I wanted to be a police officer, but my brother kind of encouraged me. He actually took me down because at the time you had to apply in person. We put these two cars. For Julio, or as his brothers call him, the rookie, he followed in their footsteps. He's been patrolling the streets for about seven months now. I have good uh, role models growing up and I see them happy and I saw that they enjoy doing their job. But it wasn't always easy, especially for Miguel, being the first. He had to prove that being an officer was possible for someone with his background. To be honest, I never believed I was going to get this far. I figured, uh, you know, after the first few uh, phases, I'll probably, you know, get eliminated. A sergeant came to my house and gave me a letter saying congratulations. Um, that's when it really sunk in. And sharing the news with their immigrant parents was the next step. They were very supportive and actually, you know, happy that we were doing something different than factory work. So that's what really the conversations were about, was trying to improve ourselves as individuals and having a better life than our parents did and what they hoped to accomplish by coming here, as they say, right, the American dream. Obviously there's actual brotherhood, you know, estamos hablando de sangre. So what does that mean for you? I take a lot of pride in that because uh, they're my older brothers. They see the last name and they're like, Oh, Cornejo, you're one of them. I have a lot of shoes to fill up because obviously they have more uh, time on the job than I do. They tell me there is pride in wearing this uniform and badge. We're not just police officers, right? We grew up in this community. We went to public schools here. And another thing that we do is we're involved in the community outside of police work. All three belong to the National Latino Law Enforcement Organization, working together to bridge the gap between police and underserved communities. The job, though, comes with challenges, specifically immigration in Latino communities. When I speak with uh, Spanish-speaking victims or their families, they didn't call police right away out of fears of getting deported. So one thing that we stress is that um, we don't care about your immigration status. You can see in their eyes, uh, it's a big sigh of relief. It's heartbreaking. It really is. And when it comes to fighting adversity, the Cornejo brothers have a motto. Just do the right thing and try hard. The police officers are human beings just like everybody else in our community, and we're trying to do the right thing. These brothers are doing their part while enjoying some unique family time. In Milwaukee, Diana Gutierrez, WISN 12 News.